Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakwadash, which is to say the only true names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hope for the elect. And to the believers and a few sisters that watch, I say shalom to you as well. Uh, this is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami. And uh, please forgive me. <laughs> Salakia, you know, that's how he said in the Hebrew, forgive me. Um, but, um, you know, I want to go into, uh, you know, a, a series I started last year. And, uh, you know, well, I'll just say this. The Spirit had me go another route, you know. But, hey, uh, the, the, the Spirit go if we're listed, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, now, nah, anyway, um, uh, a series that I, I started off last year. And I may have done a, done a couple of them uh, this year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's um, why you are called the devil, okay? And um, I reiterate that, you know, the vibration behind doing these is to, um, you know, actually, you know, prove why, you know, we, we call him the devil, okay? This is not, a, you know our personal philosophy no this is scriptural okay when you read the bible and you see the devil okay in the bible this is not speaking of, about a mythological character okay or a man with horns on his head you know with a pitchfork okay no that's uh what has been you know fabricated to be okay but in the scriptures that is specifically uh referring to uh a race of people Okay, and that race is the biblical Edomites, which are the so-called white people today. Okay, so when you read the devil in the Bible, it's speaking about the so-called white man. Okay, so it's not just a bunch of disgruntled black men, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, okay, West Indies and Haitians that are just you know butt hurt about you know the atrocities that this man has committed to our people over thousands of years. And we just want to, you know, say F the white man. No, that's not the case. Okay. We're pushing the vibration of the Holy Scriptures of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechak, Wadash. That's it. That's all. Now, do we agree wholeheartedly? Of course. That's why we preach it. Okay. It makes sense. When, when you peel back the layers and look at who will fit the build of the devil in, in the flesh, okay. If you can't say the so called white man, then you are out of your wits, okay. But regardless if you think that or not, that's what it is according to the scriptures, okay. He is the devil that the Bible speaks of, okay. And we don't, like I said, we don't say that just because we, we are bent all out of shape, which we should be, you know, which we are. Okay, because look at this guy's track record, you know, but what we're saying is biblical, okay, and, you know, in these, uh, in these shows, you know, I just, you know, point out certain things that he's doing in the earth, okay, that correlate to what the scriptures said he would be doing, you know, and prove why he is called the devil that the Bible speaks of, okay, so uh, in this uh episode we're gonna go into uh these these food recalls man and they've been you know all over the place man okay but before we get that go into this and watch this video let's grab this real quick revelations chapter 12 just to you know back up the point i was making and our brothers have done extensive videos on proving okay who the devil is and um how it relates to the scriptures and you know, things of that nature. So I'm not going to really get into depth for the sake of time. I'm not going to go into depth um, um, about proving, you know, uh, or showing who the serpent was. You know, just put plainly, okay, that old serpent that you read about in the garden was actually a man, okay? And 
you know, hey, the, the Bible is written in code. Okay, now the Heavenly Father has poured his spirit out on certain men to crack that code, you know, and we entered into their labors. And guess what? We're running with the torch. Okay, we're not the men that cracked it open. Okay, Elder Abba Bivens, you know, and, and Elder High Priest Yaquab and Elder High Priest Ariad, those men, you know, back in the day, the one Westers, okay, like they so called. Okay, the Heavenly Father gave them the spirit to crack the code, you know. <laughs> And, and and the Heavenly Father put the Spirit on us to receive it, and, and we're running with the torch, man, okay? But, uh, you know, uh, briefly, let's go into this uh, Revelation chapter 12. I want to get to the point. Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, we'll start at 7. Okay, Revelation 12 and 7. It says, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and uh, Salakia fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels. Okay, now that dragon, okay, uh, <clears throat> is speaking about uh, specifically, okay, uh, Esau Edom in his power structure, okay, uh, uh, via the, the EU and the NATO uh, EU and NATO, okay, which as we speak, you know, uh, are in talks of breaking up, okay, but anyway, um, and, and that dragon, you know, is, is, sim is symbolic, okay, to how this man operates, okay, when you, you look up the word dragon, it goes back to draconian or uh, Dra Draco, okay, which was a ruler who, hey, <laughs> would put you to death for a speeding ticket, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, do your homework on them, but uh, draconian measures, you know, look that word up, you know, goes into, uh, you know, drastic measures. And that's exactly uh, what this man does, man. OK, that's why the scriptures are referring to him as a dragon. It says, uh, uh, verse eight, and prevail not right. And Michael, and his angels, OK, Michael being, you know, the top angel of the military. OK, for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, for lack of better words, the, the Holy Host, Michael, the Archangel. OK, when we read in uh, Daniel 12, you know, the, the, the time like never before, the Heavenly Father is going to send Michael, the Archangel back. OK, to defend the elect of the nation of Israel against who? The dragon and his angels. OK, verse eight, it says, and prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. You see, verse nine. It says, and the great dragon was cast out. The, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. You see? So right there, it lets you know the old serpent, the dragon, I mean the devil and, the, and Satan, okay, are in unison. Right? Now, that serpent, okay, like I said, I don't want to get, I don't want to go too in depth. Okay, that serpent was a man, which pretty much was the the the, the incarnation, okay, of the spirit of Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. Okay, um, who uh, uh you know uh, called the devil. You see, that serpent was the devil. You see, it, it's saying it plainly. Okay, and the devil is the so-called white man. Okay, and it says, I read it again. It says, verse nine. And the great dragon was cast out, right? And really cast out of where? Cast out of heaven, you see? And, and what heaven is it speaking? Well, literally and spiritually, okay? Because here in America, okay, and in abroad, okay, for the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, West Indies, and Haitians, America, okay, is your hell. You know, or this world is your hell. This civilization is your hell. Now, to the contrary, for the so-called Edomite, I mean, for the so-called white man, the Edomites, the biblical Edomites, this is their heaven. Okay. And when you look, go into the, you know, the scriptures and look up the definitions and go and get the deeper understanding of or heaven and hell, they are conditions and they are literal places. Okay. Now, some bozos may say hell is a place on the ground where you burn forever. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> Get away from them. They work for Satan. <laughs> you know? 
But when you look it up, it's Shaw All, which is the grave, put plainly. It's the grave. That's what hell is. Okay. And it's also a mindset. You know, like a person to say, man, I'm going, I'm catching hell. Right? Or I'm in, man, this is hell. Okay. So on the flip side, heaven. Heaven is a literal place, you know, above the above the ground, which will be the first heaven. The second heaven will be um above the uh the firmament or the ozone layer. And then the third heaven, which where the heavenly father dwells, okay, which are literal places, and then spirit uh uh, uh there are um I swear I just said it, um um conditions, right? So man, this feels like heaven, right? You see? You gotta know the code, man, to, to make this thing add up, right? It says, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He, you see that? He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. You see? When you go into that word angels, I'm not gonna do it, you know, but uh, you know. Get time, go ahead and click on angels. Matter of fact, let's do it. Let's do it. I got a lot of information. I don't want to try not to make this too, too long. So, but the spirits say get it. So, I got to get it. Bear with me. Bear with me. Strong's G32, Angelos, Angelos. All right, and we read down. It says, uh, a messenger, envoy, one who is sent, an angel, a messenger from the Most High. Okay, but obviously, and, and, and to be honest with you, the, the Satan, is a messenger of the most high. Okay. But on the left hand side. So Satan has his messengers on the left hand side. Okay. And his the physical counterpart that is his messenger or angel is Esau Edom, the self proclaimed white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You see? It has to add up. Okay. Um, so yeah, just just proving that point, you know, just just hitting that point as the devil buzz. Let's get into this um is uh matter of fact let's get some bona fide facts on on <clears throat> recalls okay cuz you know brothers have been speaking about it a lot lately and you know hey the world's seeing it you know it's it's all on mainstream news media and I want to put that out there look this is not you know medical information or you know um you know Medical disinformation. No, this is coming from your news sources. Is just uh, being um, opinionated, you know, through our belief, which is the scriptures. But you will consider it an opinion. But we see it as okay, scriptural and spiritual. Okay, but just like other uh, um, YouTube content creators, they opinionate the news that they see. Okay, so. We're no different. <laughs> man, this man gonna pay. He gotta pay. Salakia. Salakia, Salakia. Bear with me. Okay, so I, you know, was doing my dude. Madu deal 
and uh, pretty much going through Esau's wormhole, man, and um, you know, just typed in, you know, how many um uh, recalls have there been, Salakia? Yeah. I'm pressing all type of stuff. I don't need to be pressing Salakia. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It says, how many full recalls have there been this year? Okay. Now, um, you know, I went into this site here, the Food and Drug Administration, and that's another thing. That's it's a huge red flag. Okay. The FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Okay. The first question you should ask yourself, why is food and drugs being mentioned in the same sentence? You see? <laughs> the things that make you go, hmm. Hey, but hey, just another reason why you're the devil. Okay? Because the reality is the food is being contaminated <laughs> with the drugs. And it's, these things have come to the forefront, man. Okay? Drugs in the, the, the local drinking water, you know, because it is this man's uh, a sewer and septic filtration system. Okay, these things are, uh, can be proven, man. And how, how is this possible? Who created the infrastructure? Okay, it's, it's not Jake. I mean, when we say Jake, we meaning, you know, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians and Haitians, you know. Those that that are not in the know, you know, more so because Jake is short for Jacob, okay? But remember, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, right? So anyway, okay. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's an, a, a huge uptick in recalls, you know? So, um... Oh, let's see, let's see. I had some information somewhere. So let's click on, it says people also ask how many. Okay, let's look at this one. You see, it says there were uh, 52.1 million recalled units in 2021 with an average size of 125.796 is that a point no 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 Salakia. 125,796 units of it says uh compare to uh Uh, uh, four hundred sixteen point nine million units in twenty twenty two. Wow, with an average recall size of nine hundred eighty five thousand six hundred and fifty eight units, a recall of infant formula uh, that was connected uh, to the deaths with uh, uh, to two deaths, Lockyer was the biggest story of the year in terms of food recalls, okay? So this man is, you know, and, and when you're dealing with food, there's certain parameters that need to be taken. Now, can we chalk it all up to E? Yeah, we can, but but the reality is, hey, you know, the system that he's created, you know, as far as mass production, is faulty in a lot of ways, you know, because... Your, your your company is only as good as your employees and as loyal and as diligent as your employees are. And we see the way this world is turning, okay? Are people cutting corners? You better believe it, okay? But why are they cutting corners? Because you, the damn devil, okay, are allowing avenues for that to take place. Why? Because you're greedy and you want money and you don't really care about the quality of product, okay? But spiritually, we, we believe, okay, we believe because it's it's, it's your uh, mo, you know method method of operandum, right? That you're doing these things intentionally, 
You know, that's what we believe spiritually. That is our spiritual opinion. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's look at this one. Why are so many um, foods being recalled right now? It says, why have there been so many products recalled lately? J data shows that product recalls increased 11% uh, from 2022 to 2023. Recording a seven year a seven year high, a large part of it is that regulations around food safety have gotten stricter. Okay. Hey, good good cop out E. Okay. Food regulations have gotten stricter, right? Okay, so that means they weren't as strict before. And like the point I made. Shouldn't they have always been strict? <laughs> you know, when you're dealing with food and things that people consume, you see, these are all moves of the devil. And and then to, to you know, double back and say, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll bite the bullet that our, our regulations weren't as strict. But we'll, you know, we'll big ourselves up and say that the regulations are stricter now. That's why we're catching so many recalls. We're not buying it, E. Okay. Um, mm, I think that's it. Uh, let's look at this one. Which country has the most food recalls? It says in recent years, okay, Italy had the largest share of food recalls worldwide, followed by uh, the Netherlands, France, and Germany. This text, uh, Slovakia. Okay, yep. Yeah, so, and and what's the common denominator with all those nations? Edomites. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Proof is in the pudding. Okay. So, yeah, I just, you know, like I said, I was going through <clears throat> wormholes and looking up this information and, you know, you know, stumbling on these things and, and you know, say, hey, <clears throat> might as well hit record. All right. So, um, dang, I had something else I wanted to bring up. Let's get it. Let's get a. Um, let's get a precept. Just lock it. Bear with me. Bear with me. <clears throat> yep, so lock it. And th and this is the reality, man. You know. Uh, this devil is is poison in the food, man. Okay, and you know, having the understanding that this is happening, okay, helps you to combat it. And how do you combat it? Like, hey, the beloved brother Samak says, man, hey, brothers, all this food is tainted. Okay, all of it. <clears throat> so, regardless of what parameters and provisions you try to take man it's it's all defiled you know so the, the best thing man brothers is, is to pray over your food man okay which is commanded of us in the first place okay because <clears throat> hey the scriptures tell you what never trust thine enemy okay we go to our enemy for the one of all things especially food okay so praying is 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 is, is essential Okay, when it comes to eating here, especially in this kingdom, man. Okay, when food recalls are on the rise, you know, as we as we just read, you know, and counting. I, I look, I'm looking up how many food recalls have there been in in, in 2024. You know, I go on the FDA, and the, um, 
IFS and uh, I believe no it's like your FSI uh, food uh, service investigation if I'm not mistaken um, and they won't give a you know an accurate account why because it's still ongoing okay it's still ongoing man and this is extremely sinister okay but nonetheless it's prophesied in the scriptures that this would happen Okay, let me see. Let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel. Uh, we get straight to the point. Ezekiel 4 and 13, it says, And Yahweh Bashmiah Shah said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Okay? So the Lord is saying, Wherever the Heavenly Father drives you, you're going to eat your bread defiled amongst the Gentiles. Okay? Now, we've been driven many places, but most notably, okay, is here, in the Americas, okay, M meaning northern and southern kingdom, okay, meaning the, the, the so-called Negroes, uh, West Indians and Haitians, okay, which would be Judah, Levi, and Benjamin, you know, the three tribes, which would be the southern kingdom, okay, or, or the Latin or indigenous people, okay, which would be the northern tribe, which were over in the central, north, and south Americas, you know, at one point dominated. You know, but ultimately the Lord drove us here for our iniquities. Okay. And guess what? He said that we would eat our bread defiled amongst the Gentiles. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's go into this word. Defiled. Let's see if we get any meat here. Here we go. Bear with me. It's Tamar, right? Defiled, right? It says ethically and religiously, ritually of places. Well, Salakia, I read I, uh, number one. That's the definition. It says unclean, impure. Okay, it then goes into ethically and religiously. So unclean and unpure, un impure, ethically. And religiously, ritually, you see, and this is one of his rituals. Okay, why? Because um, you know the scriptures, um, you know, pretty much give you a rundown in, in, in the characteristics that this man moves with, man. Okay, and he's always had a vendetta against the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indies, and Haitians, man. Okay, going all the way back. If you want to really look at it like that, going all the way. Well, you got to because this is the truth. Going all the way back to Cain. Okay, Cain and Abel in the garden. Okay, going all the way back to the serpent who beguiled Eve. You see, and then down to, to Jacob and Esau. You know, 
There's, there's a, like we read in the, uh, 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 Ezekiel, okay? Uh, I believe that's, what, the tw uh, 25th chapter? Uh, about that perpetual hatred that he has had for his brother Jacob, okay? It's just that our people, for the, ma the, for the majority of our people, okay, are not privy to this. Hey, but the reality, we weren't privy at some point, but we are now. And we're, we're, we're pushing, the, we're, we're spreading the word, man, passing the message, Okay? So this is a part of it now, but really this devil is, is is pushing it to the max, man. He's pushing it to the max, to to the point where hey, the, the, the vibration is the Lord. The Lord has to come get us soon, man. Lord willing, with those men, okay. Why? Cause we, you know, we we're being cornered on all sides, you know. I read thirteen again. It says, "And Yahweh shall say it, even thus shall the children of Israel." Eat their defiled bread amongst the Gentiles, which which I, uh, whither I will drive them. You see, and that's exactly what's happening. Okay, but hey, now that we're at the end of this thing, hey, alluding to Revelation the twelfth chapter in the twelfth verse. Okay, this devil. Okay, see, once again, it says the devil shall come down to you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. You see, knowing he he it keeps saying he. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get in a uh, matter of fact, let's get to this video. Let's get to this video. Now that we went into, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, the fact that they're on the increase, they're on the rise. And, you know, people are asking questions. Why are there, why are there so many uh, <laughs> uh, food recalls? Well, let's hear from the horse's mouth. And, and, and like I said, this is, this is your news media. We're just giving our opinion on it. Right now, it seems like we're always telling you about a new recall. One more item you need to take out of your fridge. Well, just this week, we reported that an E. coli outbreak linked to ground beef made nearly 200 people sick across 10 states. Chrissy Etheridge went behind the headline to look at the numbers to find out why this keeps happening. More than 145,000 cartons of almond milk are being recalled. Uh-oh, here we go again. Check your freezer. Another Monday, another recall, and this one's pretty serious. You are sharing the same sentiment about yet another recall. A new recall to tell you about tonight. So you can add this to your melon slices, your, your lettuce, your chocolate Swiss cakes, your goldfish. Also, did I mention lettuce? It's ridiculous. You're asking, why has there been so many lately? Good question, Shiva. It feels like the list of foods we can't eat gets longer every day. So I took that question to Jessica Bedore. She's the recall outreach coordinator at the Georgia Department of Agriculture. Why are there so many recalls? And I think that it's because we've gotten better at identifying recalls. Besides improving our... Look, she didn't even believe that. <laughs> I think it's because we got better at shiny recalls. I think. Man, this, this, these people, man, okay? But it, it, it's clear as day if you have eyes to see, okay? I think we've gotten better. Like I mentioned earlier, why, why was there, you know, room? There's always room for improvement, I'll say that. But when it comes to food, you know, shouldn't that be top of the line secure? If, if, it's the, if that's the case, which we don't believe that's the case that, you know, some things slip through the cracks or, you know, some of the workers are, you know. No, no, no. We we believe wholeheartedly, okay, that you're doing this, you know, as, as some type of biological warfare. And see, look, it's affecting all all races, okay, even your even your own kind, you know. But you you do anything, you 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 uh. You'll suffer collateral damage, okay, to get to the Israelites. Like we read in Psalms, the 10th chapter, his eyes are privily set against the poor. You see? Let's, and, and, and who are the biggest consumers on the planet? The Israelites. You see? <laughs> but uh, let's get some Technology more. Technology and our detection systems. Data shows the overall number has gone up slightly. The total number of food recalls in the U.S. increased 10% from 2013 to 2018. The peak year was 2016 with a total of 905. 
That's based on calendar year data. If you look at it from the fiscal year, October to September, Bedore says recalls are down. Interestingly enough, in the last fiscal year, fiscal year 2018, that was a five-year low for recalls. Great, you say, but I still can't eat lettuce or beef. We hear you. Maybe this will make you feel better. Even though you may hear more about recalls, the CDC says there are not more people getting sick. An average of one in six people get food poisoning each year. And that stat has stayed the same for about 10 years. But that recall fatigue you're feeling is not wrong. 2018 had a lot of big recalls, um, and a lot of those recalls were tied to really big foodborne illness outbreaks where we had a lot of people that were getting sick. So I think that that's where that big feeling comes in. A listeria outbreak led to the death of one person. That hasn't happened since 2003. E. coli in lettuce killed five, and salmonella in raw beef infected more than 300 people. While most recalls are done willingly, in 2018, the FDA had to issue its first mandatory recall when a company failed to call back food products made with kratom powder that tested positive for salmonella. The average recall for a business is $10 million. The good news, food made in the U.S. is still among the safest in the world. And the fact that you're hearing about a recall means our safety system is working. Okay, so this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working, smirking. <laughs> but yeah, hey, we know who controls the media. Okay, obviously they're going to say, yeah, you know, you know, point the finger, you know, but you see, like the point I was making, like uh, having a full recall is a $10 million mistake. And listen, when it comes to Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, they do not waste money. Okay, they don't waste money. You know, they're extremely frugal. Okay, so they're going to cross all their T's and dot all their I's. But guess what? Even with that philosophy, it doesn't always happen. So a lot of times, okay, not most times, I, I personally don't believe, okay, that somebody, it could be from malpractice. You know, one of the employees is not doing what they're supposed to do. Okay? And if that is the case, that means your, <laughs> your, your, uh, Checks and balancing system is not up to par. You see, so it still all falls back on <laughs> on the devil, man. The Bible speaks of. You see, but for the most part, we believe that you're doing this intentionally, okay, intentionally, and not per se. Um, the, the actual owners of the business, okay. Listen, man, the rabbit hole goes deep when you're dealing with this character, man. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that, you know. You know, basically, I'm trying to sugarcoat why there's so many recalls. But anyway, let's get some more precepts. And we'll close this thing out. Bear with me. And then also, I saw where, you know, there were a bunch of, um, there were a bunch of, um, Drug recalls, okay, and, and and we already know, you know, the, the, the backdrop behind Westernized medicine, you know, we're just gonna leave it like that, you know. But um, you know this this man is out of control. He's he's absolutely out of control, and uh, we need divine intervention, okay. We don't fear him, you know, but the reality is he's out of control because he knows he's at his end. You know, and he's like, look, look, man, I'm, 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 I'm about to take out as many as possible. OK, and we wholeheartedly believe through the spirit that these food recalls, OK, are an act of war. You know, against the people, because it's ironic that all of these things are being recalled, you know, and, and you're pushing a vibration on the people to, uh, uh, you know, want to want to want to go vegan or eat bugs or eat uh uh, uh, roach milk. Look it up. Look up roach milk. Okay. Or look up um, maggot milk. You know, it's ironic that you're doing things like this and then all of these recalls, you know, and, it, and it's been an uptick pretty much since 2021. Drastic uptick since 2021. How ironic. But anyway, um, let's grab. Let's grab. 
Um, let me see. Let me see. Let's see where we going with it. Let me see. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, woe to oppressors. And obviously, if you had... I don't even have to ask that question. The oppressor is Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. That's obvious, right? So verse 1, it says, woe to, uh, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. You see? The reason why we, we perceive that you're doing this on purpose, okay? Because the scriptures have already called you out. Once again, woe to them, uh, woe to, like it, woe to uh, them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. That's what he does, okay? And when we say he, more specifically the elites, okay? The elites of this society, the banker families, okay? The small hatters. They're the ones that are in control. They're the workers of iniquity. Okay? And work evil upon their beds. Why? Because, like the scripture says, it's in the power of their hands. They control everything. Okay? So it's nothing for them to make a listeria uh, outbreak happen at, at this food company or that food company. That's easy. And then how do you attack people? What's the best way of attacking people? It's through their food. It's through the things that they consume. The air that they breathe. Man. He got to go. But he is the devil the Bible speaks of. Whether you want to believe it or not. Okay. Soon you'll know. Hey, we're giving you a fair warning now. Letting you know. Hey, this hey, be careful. It's the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay. Because pretty soon. And he's starting to do it now. But pretty soon, he's gonna he's gonna let he's gonna let the horns come completely out. He's gonna take off the gloves. And he's gonna start knocking you niggas out, man. By the thousands, by the hundreds of thousands. Okay, it's been prophesied. This is not opinion. Okay, it's been prophesied. But this is Job chapter thirteen, verse four. And this, you know, a, a lot of the things that characterize Esau Edom in these times okay we get from the book of Job which necessarily wasn't you know in context wasn't talking about Esau Edom you know per se but connecting the dots you know because Job was basically answering his friends you know but a lot of things that he was saying were prophetical and uh, we used to characterize Esau Edom Okay, because it matches his, him to the T, right? So this is Job chapter 13. Um, chapter 13, verse 4, it says, But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Now, like I said, you know, here it is, Job's. Friends were supposed to be there to comfort him, okay? But they're going back and forth with him and, you know, like basically kicking him while he was down, okay? So that was his, you know, one of his responses to him. But can we correlate that to Esau Edom? You, you bet your bottom dollar. They're forgers of lies and physicians of no value. Like I was mentioning uh, about the, the, the DRUG uh, recalls, <clears throat> you know? Not so. Not only are you, you know, giving people uh, witchcraft formulas because when you go into a pharmacy, it goes back to the word pharmacia, which goes back to basically witchcraft. So not only are you poisoning the people with witchcraft, but you're also making it faulty. And I, I, of course you are, okay? It's like we read, just read in uh, Micah the second chapter. You see, but ye are forgers. It says, but ye are forgers of lies, 
ye are all physicians of no value. Okay? And that's him. And that's why we can connect the dots. Somebody has to be fitting this bill, man. Okay? And it's him. Let's get uh, Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter We'll start at 14. Because the, the reality is, like I may mention, you know, like seeing all these things, man, and, you know, the, the whole politic debacle, uh, political debacle, Salakia, you know, um, you know, uptick and murder, just all out wickedness all throughout, you know, all telltale signs that the Heavenly Father is about to return, man, you know. And and, 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 and and rightfully so, because the, the prophecies are unfolding just like the scriptures said, okay? And, and more specifically, the devil is losing his goddamn mind. You know, I saw where they wanted to spray some of the Max, you know, the Maxine. You know, they, they, they want to spread in the air since people don't want to, you know, get the jump shot. It, it's, it's spread in the air, you know, contaminating the waters. So forth and so on, man. Okay? All telltale signs that the Lord is coming back soon to redeem his elect. Like the scriptures say, those days had to be short unless there be no flesh to be saved. Okay? <clears throat> what, I'm, what I'm looking for. Oh, Isaiah chapter 29. Oh, I was at 14. Yep. 29 verse 14 says, therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work. And they wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Verse 15. Woe unto them that speak deep. Uh, Slakia that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and their works are in are in the dark, and they say, "Who seeth us?" Okay, and that's 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 E man, that's the devil, that's that's the self proclaimed white man, that is his mo. <laughs> that's why the scriptures say in Obadiah that his pride has deceived him. To the point where he actually thinks the Most High doesn't see him, man. Okay? It says, and who knoweth us? Verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Uh, for shall the world say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him? That framed it, he had no understanding, right? And that's his that's his old mo. Okay, here it is: the heavenly Father created you, but you think you're gonna you're gonna beat him. Okay, you're poisoning his people. You trying them down. You know you forded the affliction. When when you when you poisoning people's food, man, that's that's an all time low. Okay. And he's consistently done that. He's done that for years. Especially over here in the Americas. Okay. Watch uh, Flowers of the Blue Moon, man. It shows it shows you to a T that this is the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay. Um, now, I did. Hold on. Bear with me. Yeah, I did 
did have, I did want to show these. Salakia. Yep, I did want to show some of these news articles. So I look up news, you see? Over 15 types of vegetables from Aldi and Walmart were called due to listeria. You see that? Now, I'll say this. You, you really shouldn't be eating fruit or any consumables from Walmart, but that's just, it's just me. But uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Walmart, Aldi, and Kroger uh, produce is under FDA. Uh, what did it say? FDA uh, recall. Look. Cucumber recall for listeria. Come on, man. How ironic is this? And these are uh, uh, businesses that are not, you know, in the same vicinity, not in the same, not even in the same cities, in different regions. Right? Look at this one. Cucumbers. Just, just, just read them off. Look, look. And look at the, look at the dates. One day ago. One day ago. Two days ago. One day ago. Oh, these are all the same. Okay, these are the same articles. But yet and still, man, it, it's happening at an alarming rate, man. At an alarming rate. And we hey, we need Yahweh by Shai. Okay. Um, but I read this part again, verse 18, 16. It says, surely you're turning... Uh, of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Meaning what? Okay, all of these things, because the reality is what this devil is doing <clears throat> is, um, you know, destroying the foods, okay, so that he can give us the food that he wants us to eat, okay? He's trying to scare people away from this and that, this, that, the third, okay? He creates a problem, watches the reaction, and then creates the solution. And that's exactly what we see happening. Okay, hey, like Michael, the, the second chapter says, you know, they devise iniquity. They work it upon their beds. You know, wake up in the morning, like, how, how can we kill the most amount of you niggas? Okay, or how can we trim the herd? This, that's their mindset. The scriptures say it. You see? But it says, you're turning upside down a thing shall be esteemed as a potter's clay, meaning what? The potter can take that, that pot and break it, okay? And that's exactly what the Most High is about to do, okay? Because you turned everything upside down, made what's good bad and what's bad good. You see? So, yeah, your day is coming. Your day is coming, boy, and rightfully so. Okay, we'll get one more and we'll close this thing out. Let's see. Let's start at 8. This is Job 5 and 8. It says, I will seek unto the Most High, and unto the Most High would I commit my cause. Verse 9. Which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number, who giveth rain unto the earth and sendeth waters upon the Upon the fields, verse 11, to set up on high those that be low, that, uh, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. You see? So, yeah, that's why we can report on these things and, you know, uh, uh, you know, call this man out on his on his shit, you know, because the, the heavenly father has made promises. OK, to his elect, to those that that put on, therefore, as the hopefully elect. OK. So we don't fear these things. 
Because guess what? We're subject to this. We're subject to all these things. Okay? The scriptures say we got to go to him for the one of all things. So we're subject to the, you know, the poison and toxins and, you know, as the scriptures say, if they shall eat any uh, uh, poisonous or drink any poisonous thing, it shall not harm them. But that's our only hope. But uh, we don't we don't have food manufactured. We can't slaughter animals, you know, or harvest, you know. So we got to depend on the Lord, man. Verse 12, it says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. You see, and that's what the, this is all about. OK, this, the order of the new the order of the new world, that's 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 what's going on. OK. The fourth industrial uh, uh, revolution. Yeah, that that's that's what's going on, man. OK. And, and more importantly. A sourpuss who's about to go out of power and who's disgruntled and pissed. OK. But the news is the most high is going to disappoint you. All of the things that you you're planning to do. The Most High is going to throw that shit down, man. Right? It says, He take up the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the froward. Okay, the froward means opposite of forward. Okay, and that's exactly what Esau Edom is. He's backwards. <laughs> okay? As backwards. So it says, uh, He take up the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. Verse 14, they meet with darkness in the daytime. You see, going into that, that Illuminati vibration and, um, you know, their secret councils. OK, it says they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. <coughs> Slock you. Excuse me. Verse 15. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from the mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. Okay? And guess what? Esau is mighty. Okay? But guess what? The Most High is going to save us from you. Okay? And that is our hope and that's our expectation. Okay? So, yeah, just wanted to touch on that. Lord willing, it was edifying. Kwame Asherala Shalom.